Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here to share with you um, I received a swap package. I am doing a swap with Michelle Pipling. Hi Michelle, it came and I just, I'll show you on the side because it's a pretty big box. I split it open but I haven't looked in or anything yet. So I thought we would um, all see what Michelle made for me um, together. Our swap was to be um, a lace book, a needle book, and a surprise. So I'm going to put the package over here and I'm going to start at the top. And the first thing I see is some beautiful lace trim. Look at that. And I know I have my camera at a different angle because um, over my head I don't think it would work. So I'm going to try it this way and hopefully it will work. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. Thank you, Michelle. My favorite color, purple. Love those. Those are beautiful. And... Let me take the lace off here. I love this lace. It's really beautiful. And it's a creamy color. So, isn't that gorgeous? Whoops, it's gonna take me a few minutes to realize if I'm in frame or not, I guess. And then she sent me the Graphic 45 um, Craft Reflections collection six by six so that's really pretty oh love that love the time I love anything to do with um, clocks watches all that those are beautiful I haven't seen this one beautiful thank you so much Michelle okay now everything's packed in pretty tight so I'm not sure how now I'm going to get it out. <laughs> wow, you really packed this tight. Oh my goodness, whoa. Okay. Um, I see an amazing fabric lace book. And a basket. Oh my gosh, Michelle. Wow. And then... Let me get the, so I'm looking for a card, but I'm not sure if she's like me. Sometimes I'll have a card and forget to put it in the box, and sometimes I just completely forget the card at all. <laughs> so, all right, let me just move some things out of the way first. I want to wait. I want to share that last. Um... Okay, so she sent me some beautiful fabrics. That is beautiful. Let me see. And this pink checked gingham. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And you sent me tons of it. Oh, and look at this purple one. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much, Michelle. I love these. I think I might try to make another little quilt at some point. And then she made me a beautiful flower. Oh, that's so pretty, a doily flower. One, two, three, four, wow, five. Five different layers, that is beautiful, thank you. Am I showing? Oh, sorry guys. And then this beautiful flower. I think this is made of a cream satin. I love getting flowers and then I can add them to my um, place in my hutch where I have all the flowers from all my friends. Look at that, that's beautiful. She did a rolled rose and and she did, I'm not sure what they, what you call this, um, but it's like a 
to me it would be like a running stitch. I don't know if that's how she did it, but that is gorgeous. Thank you. And then she sent me a bag of goodies. I put that there and then I can put them back. She sent me some of these flowers. I had some of these and I used them all up. So thank you so much, Michelle. I love these. Look at those. I had a I had gotten them. I think I might have gotten them on eBay and I used them all. So thank you so much. She sent me a bunch of them. And then oh I haven't seen this trim before. Look at that. It's like iridescent and they're like flat um flat beads. That's really pretty. Love that. And then a little piece of this trim. I love getting little these scraps because then you can um, use them in flowers. You can use them on your um, books. Look at that. You can tell that's hand crocheted. This pretty pink one. That is beautiful. Look at the heart. Haven't seen this one either. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Michelle. And I love this. I love this. I think I have this in like a pale yellow and I made a um, flower out of it. It was, um, it came out so cute. And here's a applique, a vintage applique. And then she sent me some metal pieces that were probably either a bracelet or on a string. Those are beautiful and some beads, a little thing of different color. It's coming off, so let me, it's off of this end. So let me just, so they don't go all over the place. Look at those fun rose beads, all in different colors. And then the little um, black round ones in between. So thank you, Michelle. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, she um, altered a light switch. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at, there's the night light. Oh, I'm gonna put this here in my craft room. <gasps> Look at how beautiful. That is beautiful. She used a, um, a dangle, like a rope dangle, and this beautiful trim here, and then this trim here, and this, um, feels like um, burlap, I think. And then she did this fun trim on the top. That is really beautiful. Thank you so much, Michelle. I think you made more than we had agreed on. I'm pretty sure. And there, here's a little piece of trim. And then let's see what this is. So it's tied up in this pretty box trim. And, oh, I wonder if this is one of the tags that your friend makes. It looks like it. Um, I think her name is Nola. That is really pretty. Look at that. And I think this is like glass glitter. That's really pretty. And then let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. A beautiful fabric and pearl flower. Another vintage um, applique piece. And look at this one, this is beautiful too. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you really, you spoiled me. And look at this vintage piece here. I'm not sure if it if you would call this a doily, or I think you would, and it's got the crochet around. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like, look at the, the pearls on this piece are huge. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I wonder if this is from um, Ooh La La Shop. Doreen finds the most amazing vintage pieces. That is gorgeous. Thank you, Michelle. And then this piece, I like how she wrapped it all up. Oh, wait a minute, I don't wanna unthread something too, too far. This is, let me just clip this because it's caught on a sequin. I don't want to, oh my gosh, this is beautiful too. I've never um, seen this one. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. And then she sent me this. Oh, it's like a huge, um, it's like a huge tussie, a uh, fabric, um, tussie mussy shape. And actually it's a sleeve now that I can, now that I really look at it and I see, I see the, um, the buttons, but it almost looks like the shape of a tussie mussy. Look at that from a wedding dress. That is gorgeous. The sequins, oh my gosh, the lace, that is beautiful. Thank you, Michelle. And another beaded trim, wow, with the sequins. And again, you sent a ton of it. Thank you so much. Okay, now the box is empty and um, I didn't see a card. So, and I know I'm not going to get this all in frame, but look at this basket. Oh my gosh. And she filled it. Wow. <laughs> I am, look at that, with the bow. All right, let's, let me take that off. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And it's all cream color. This is beautiful, Michelle. I just love it. Wow. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's put this right here. And then this was, I don't know if this was part of it, so it was in the, kind of on top of it. So let's open this up. Wow. My fingers don't really want to work today. Oh, look at this piece. And I love the the color. If you um, coffee dyed it or tea dyed it, that is beautiful. And another one of those tags. I think her friend Nola made this. That is gorgeous. I love the the vintage lady. That is beautiful. She does make beautiful tags. And oh my gosh, she sent more goodies to play with. And you can tell they're all, it looks like they're all vintage. And I love the, um, I don't know if you'd call it staining, because I'm not sure. You know, some are stains, some might be, um, you know, just worn uh, some, you know, the sun causes damage, but I love it when they're like this because you want to make something vintage, you just leave that in. If you don't, then you tea dye it and they go away, but I love this. And this one too, look at that. And this piece, wow. Michelle, you went way, way beyond what we agreed on. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, everything's just gorgeous. Look at this piece. Oh my gosh. It's like a dusty rose. Look at that. And it is roses. I hope you can see. Wow. 
That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm doing all of this justice because it's during the day. I mean, I just got this from the mail mailman and um, the sun's out. And I've got overhead lights on, so I'm hoping that the lighting is okay, that you can see everything. Wow, look at this vintage piece. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And this doily. Look at that. Okay, that won't be cut up. That will go under a lamp or a candy dish or something. That is beautiful. And then this piece here. This would be perfect for a fabric book. And then it was tied up with this. I love these type of laces too. Oh my gosh, okay. Huh, now let's um, see what else is in the basket. Wow. To and from. Sorry for the crinkling. Oh wow, look at that. I think she altered an, yes, she altered an address book. It is beautiful. And she did it all in vintage. Look at the vintage lace. And I love this rosette here. And the doily underneath, to and from. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. And I will use this. she altered um, a notebook. Wow, I love the Paris theme and um, she used another one of Nola's tags and I love this dusty rose color. It's really beautiful. And then on the top she added this sheer trim here. Wow, that is beautiful, Michelle. You did a lot of work. Oh my goodness. I think it's like, I think everything in here, almost everything she made in here, this might have fallen out of something, maybe her needle book. The pens, I'm not sure. Let's see, this might be the needle book, I think. Yes, I think this is it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, that is beautiful. And look at, she took the spools and used it as a hanging piece. That is so cool. But look at all the layers. I'll put a link to Michelle's channel um, because I'm sure she'll put up a video on all these pieces that she did. And I know she's going to be able to explain and do them a lot more justice than I can um, you know, just looking at it, but look at all those layers. And here's the back. And I love this. Look at, she used a denim pockets. I love that. And here's a stick pin. And in the pockets, she has all kinds of goodies. She has buttons. And scissors and thread and then in this one she has more thread and a measuring tape and needles what a great idea that is so vintage I just love it thank you so much Michelle oh my gosh and let's see. Oh, look at this lavender trim. That's really pretty. 
and another one of those tags. I love these tags. And here's, and I love purple and yellow together too. Here's a little rosette and she put a little bling and pearl piece on there. And oh, I think this is a tea bag. Look at how cute. Love that. So I do think it's a tea bag from what I can feel. I should just kind of open it just in case. I'm gonna, I think what I'll do is just slit. And then I can see in the corner that I do think it's a tea bag. And that way there I won't open it all the way. Yes, it's tea. That is adorable. I love that. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I think the needle book was in that. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at the bunny. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. She altered the bunny. Look at that. And she's so soft. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I love her. Thank you so much, Michelle. She is adorable. Oh my, wow. I am... And I haven't even gotten to the fabric book yet. I may do two videos, I think. Look at this gorgeous flower. Look at all the layers. Wow, that is really beautiful. I just love that. And then the doily in the back. And then she altered an egg. Very beautiful. Love that. That is beautiful. And then this is like a, a mini Tussie Mussy, I think. Look at how beautiful. All the trim and then she used doilies and the connectors and flowers. And I love this shabby muslin. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is beautiful. And look at the inside of the basket. She used um, she used cream satin and the lace. And now you can see the basket a little better. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, Michelle, I am like, I'm speechless. Oh my gosh amazing amazing swap and I'm going to come back with part two to show you um, the fabric book that Michelle made for me so I will be back in just a bit bye for now